Good people, Coach Miller Light reporting in for duty, friends and countrymen. Soundtrack today brought to us by Yacht Rock Radio. It is the Yacht Rock season. I love Yacht Rock. Steely Dan bringing us in for some really altering information today. You know, I'm back on the study, baby. Bring me conversations with God. Let's go. Writing it down, tuning myself to the frequency. It's an experiment. What am I finding out? That when I do it, I'm happier. <laughs> so far, so uppy. Here we go. Here's what I wrote down today. Everything that occurs, has occurred, is occurring, ever will occur, is the outward physical manifestation of your innermost thoughts, choices, ideas, and determinations regarding who you are and who you choose to be. So everything that occurs, ever has occurred, will occur, is an outer reflection, outer manifestation of my innermost thoughts, ideas, feelings, determinations of who I am. Sounds like this is a pretty important topic. Who do I think I am? <laughs> yeah, who am I? I heard today on Tomorrow's God, it said next 100 times that you look in the mirror, say, who? Three times the who meditation. To look myself in the mirror the next 100 times, it challenged me. It was a challenge. And I'm gonna do it. I hereby, Coach Miller Light, decide and declare I'm doing it. Who am I? Who am I? Am I this body? Am I more than this? Who am I? Let's find out. <laughs> All right, sounds like fun. I'm looking in the mirror anyways, right? And it's alert, alert, going into mirror, alert. <laughs> it can be a danger zone in there. And I could turn it from the danger zone to the twilight happy zone by following this plan. Trying it out, looking at it like well, I'm in there. I'm in there anyway. May as well do something good in there. Okay. Condemn not, therefore, those aspects of life with which you disagree. This is one of those repeat messages. Condemn not those aspects of life with which you disagree. Seek instead to change them and the conditions that made them possible. Now that makes a lot of sense instead of condemning, right? Because it takes energy to condemn something. It takes a lot of energy. So instead of condemning something, seek to change the conditions which caused that. Use that same moment, that same energy to instead of condemn it, change it. Behold the darkness, yet curse it not. Rather, be a light unto the darkness and so transform it. That sounds like much more fun to me. Right, Skipper, what do you think? I was waiting for you to call on me, really happy to be here, and yes, I'd like to be a light, you know, I'd really like to be a light unto the darkness, instead of condemning it. Coach Miller Light, please tell me more on this. You got it, Skipper. All right, be, let your light, let your light so shine before men that those who stand in the darkness will be illumined by the light of your being. You know, these are instructions. And it's not instructions because we can't do it. We can do it. It's saying, instead of cursing the darkness, instead of condemning, I'm going through my life experience. Am I condemning my experience? That's one choice. Here's another choice. Another choice is be a light unto the darkness. Seek to change those aspects of my experience, which are minus. Change them. That's what I'm getting from this. Change them by being a light. Light the darkness so that there's no more darkness. So it's only light. Be so strong in my light. Let your light so shine before men that those who stand in the darkness will be illumined by the light of your being. And all of you will see at last who you really are. I'm hearing something pretty exciting here. Be a bringer of the light. For your light can do more than illuminate your own path. Your light can be the light which truly lights the world. Shine on then, O oh Illuminati, shine on. That the moment of your greatest darkness may yet become your greatest gift. And even as you are gifted, so too will you gift others. 
<laughs> giving to them the unspeakable treasure themselves let this be your task let this be your greatest joy to give people back to themselves even as even in their darkest hour especially in that hour the world waits for you heal it now in the place where you are there is much that you can do my sheep are lost and must be found be ye therefore good shepherds and lead them back to me wow sounds like a, a call man a call to duty coach miller light reporting into duty for what to let my light shine how am i going to let my light shine well the math on the board so far says that we all are connected we're all hooked up to the source of the light so the light shines when it's jacked into its power source now what can I do to help let that source flow so that my light can shine? Because what I'm hearing is my light can not only light my own path, but could be the light that truly lights the world. I mean, hello, stop holding out, Mary. Let's go, Coach Miller Light. Coach Miller Lights. <laughs> All right, so what's, what are some tools to help me with this? I like tools. One tool is to see perfection. This is a tool that I received yesterday from Conversations with God. See perfection. Now, there's a lot of moments in my life that instead of condemning, I'll see perfection and I'm gonna have to practice it and be okay with practicing it. But this is a skill. This is the skill of skills, baby. So now, practicing it, being okay with practicing it and watch myself get better at it as I practice seeing the perfection. Whatever comes my way, see perfection. Let's groove on out.